Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. Back in the lab today, we are getting ready to do some tests on batteries and some stuff like that. I've got a mess on the table, okay? I've got a HP 6050A electronic load, an inverter, a power supply, we're charging some batteries for top balance, uh, all sorts of stuff going on, okay? So this doesn't work out. Having all this stuff on the table, trying to make a video, nightmare. I have a one and a half meter tall server rack here. This is a Hewlett Packard Systems rack. And this rack I'm gonna build out for battery testing and that kind of thing. So this electronic load, uh, we'll get in a little bit more detail here, but essentially this will turn uh, 1800 watts of electrical energy into heat. And we can use that for testing batteries, both at constant voltage, constant current, constant resistance, and constant power. A real versatile unit for many tests here in the lab. Uh, the power supply over here is also gonna go in this rack. We can use this for charging up batteries, top balancing, simulating imbalances, many different uh, tests there. And uh, there's a data acquisition unit here. This is a Hewlett Packard. Um, this one is a 34970A. This essentially has cards that go in the back. And we'll get some close-ups, but these cards have relays on them. And uh, we can select between 16 different sets of high and low pins. So we can use that for individual cell voltage monitoring and a lot of test and measurement stuff here. But I want to get it in the rack so that way we can make a really easy to show test and measurement station uh, that works really well for multiple things moving forward in the future. So in this video, we're going to be assembling this rack and uh, here we go. These racks are super cool. There are these little clips um, that we just put in here. They snap into place and these are like the screw threads so we don't have to worry about on these rails stripping anything out. This is gonna go in the top of the rack and we're gonna mount these rails in there and that's what's gonna allow us to uh, slide it into the rack. Now I'm putting this at the top because this goes back and forth between me and uh, my engineer Everett. Uh, he uses this for testing as well and we only have one of them at this point. So here's the LCD uh, display. There's buttons for programming, multiple different functions. Uh, we're gonna get more into detail on this later on, but this is the front view of this. So let's get those rails in the rack and we'll get this mounted. And there we go. Now I made sure I left a uh, space at the top of 1U because this breathes uh, on the top as well. So we wanted to make sure we have enough airflow for this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the power supply uh, provisions in place. That's running right now. We're top balancing uh, some batteries we're gonna be releasing here on the channel real soon. Um, so once that's done, we're gonna get it mounted up in here. All right, so we've got this rack pretty much ready to go. I'm actually really satisfied with how this came out. Uh, like we talked about earlier, we've got the electronic load up here at the top. I got our power supply in. And then we have a few other uh, small devices here. We've got our data acquisition unit that I briefly mentioned. Uh, these two are multimeters. Then down at the bottom are a couple of frequency counters. So if we wanted to test like an inverter, uh, we could plug in some scope probes and uh, get a real accurate measurement of what the output frequency is. We also have a shelf down here at the front. And uh, right now I have sitting on here some old Calb CA100 batteries. These have been cycled thousands of times and are at the end of their life. And we're gonna be making a video here real quick about uh, using some active cell balancers to see if we can increase the usable capacity uh, when those are assembled in a battery pack. So to do that, uh, we're gonna use the power supply to charge things up. We're gonna use the electronic load to do a capacity test uh, to get like our baseline and then we'll charge it back up and connect on the active cell balancers and do, a, again, a capacity test. And uh, from there, we can figure out how many amp hours difference we get using active cell balancers. So like that's an example of what we can use all this equipment for. 
and uh, it's super exciting to have lab grade equipment in our lab I mean that's why we built it so uh, more to come and uh, there's you don't see any wires on here right now uh, they're probably gonna come out in this space down here there's a uh, about a 4U space between the shelf and the equipment. So that's where those will come out. We need to get some Anderson connectors for like the electronic load. Um, I need to get some leads for the data acquisition unit, probably some banana plug probes for all these other little meters. And uh, other than that, this is a pretty sweet setup we've got going. And uh, just one of many that we'll have coming soon because we have like four more racks to build out. So this has been super exciting. I enjoy putting racks together and uh, we're definitely glad you joined us today. So uh, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more videos and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.